Come on. Over here. Don't, don't stop there. Come on. He's gonna stop there. Son of a biscuit. I thought he would... He's staying put. He's staying put. Get to him before he bobs away. Get to him before he bobs away. <laughs> stop running away from me. I've already killed you once. What's the worst that could happen? Well, this might have worked out conveniently. Memories. Oh my lord, that is a potential diamond right there. Oh. Ooh. It was a vital one. That was vital blood. Oh hell yeah. And it is a hey, oh my lord. That's a diamond. Holy crud, he's a big and two. 197.10. What? Whoa. The lower neck saved me. I screwed the shot up. So that was the diamond. By the way, hello and welcome to the channel. For today's video, we're going to head to Quattro Colinas and go after some Besiet Ibex. But first, yeah, that was always interesting. My diamond at 197.1. Now these other two on the wall, you think they're diamonds as well? No. 196.6. I actually think I screwed the shot up on that one and it came out a silver. That one I didn't screw the shot up. 193.3 came out a gold. But here's the thing, at least the spreadsheet I reference, diamond requirement is 191.6. All three of these were diamond potentials, except that one I think I, again, I think I screwed the shot up on this one, I can't remember. Oh yeah. And you never got antlers. I forgot about you. I'm so sorry, bud. Point is of this little room here is that uh, bugs are bound to happen. Weird thing is, is that yesterday I already started recording this and I was running into issues because Nvidia had a game ready driver update that uh, wasn't game ready. So I had to roll back to a studio version from like June to get everything to work again. Point being is, while I was hunting, I was spotting animals that were, well, Pretty close to this kind of size, maybe a little smaller, but they were all coming up with estimates of 100 to 120. Uh, one in particular was 115 on the spotting information. But when I harvested it, harvested it, it actually came out to be like a 155 or 158, something like that. The point is, is that there might be something wrong. Now, of course I'm running mods, so it could be the mod. So what I have done is I rolled the game save back to pre-mod, not the game save, but I rolled the game files back to pre-mod, and I've deleted my Quattro Colinas population. So it'll be starting fresh. Now I have installed the HUD switch mod, but that's the only one, and it doesn't affect how the animals work. So here we are, it's 8 a.m., coming out of my uh, tent up here. I have a nice, pretty uh, fancy little spot here I can see down from. Downside is, without the mod, I can't see the other side of the lake. Now, I might try and find a spot kind of in the middle. Usually around this time, it's a pretty good time. They'll come in from over to the right and walk down that valley there. They'll come in from over the hill back there, come down across on the other side, and they'll come in from the back and come down this little kind of uh, washout over here. But the goal today is to try and figure out if that weird spotting mechanic I was witnessing yesterday was the mod or the game. And unfortunately, with the experience I've had with spotting mechanics bugging out, it's kind of a coin toss. Now, I don't... I know it's not the HUD switch mod. The HUD switch mod doesn't work by altering the files. It's simply just changing... hiding what you can see. Everything's still there when you s switch the HUD off. You just can't see it. But the render range thing actually has to mess with how animals are spawned in, because it basically has to tell the game that, you know, to spawn them in further away. So it's possible that that's the issue. If that is the issue, then I should see animals being harvested at a, you know, trophy score within the range of what they're being spotted at. If they're still bugging out like yesterday, then it's not the mod. I'll put the mod back on and continue running it. But quite frankly, if the mod is messing with my spawns, I don't want to use it. Now, as far as it just messing with the sighting information, that of course doesn't bother me since usually, uh, especially with the HUD switch mod, I'm not relying on spotting information. I'm relying on my own two eyes to kind of tell me what it is I'm looking at. 
And I didn't see any bizarre spawnings before. Now, granted, when I took it to Leighton Lake, I only took two whitetail as part of testing. But then when I took it to the Rockies, the only big animal I found was one that I would assume was going to be a small four. Well, I don't have to make that assumption anymore because, hey, here's another clip. I got the bugger. So I'm almost in position here to where I want to uh, kind of scope from. And I'm already hearing noise that tells me that there may be some Ibex nearby. Unfortunately, I wasn't paying enough attention to tell from where. Okay, so that's kind of what I was seeing yesterday where the threes seem to be pretty accurate. Those are all max weight class. Really? Yeah, they're both 242s. That one's a smaller one. There's a lot of 242s though. So that one is a three very easy 242, but a 104. I, I want to see one of the big horned ones. That'll really tell me if, uh, if something's going on here. So I'm going to poke around for a bit and see if I can't find one of the big ones that uh, look to be more like a 150, 160, but for some reason register low. Although I am going to miss that because like this is pretty much the limit here what I can see. And before I could look all the way up on this hill. Okay, so we're about a we're pretty much straight over him. 160 yards. That's the three max weight 104. But he looks quite a bit bigger. I got to move to the right more. So I'm gonna have to fire down into a lung. It looks like unless he moves around. But let me write down. So he's a 201 to 242. Wait, that's the wrong one. That one. 69 to 104. And as soon as we're presented with a shot, we'll take him. And see if he is within those ranges. Now I think I need to just keep scooting this way a bit. He seems to be turning, that's a problem. He was facing the other way, that's why I came over here. It's like they know. Oof. Don't go falling for him. I think there's more moving in. Yep. Um. Hi. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. So that's what I was seeing yesterday. So that's a 242-114. Whole bunch of females coming in after him. Something else right there. Another female. Where'd he go? There he is. Nope, that's not him. There he is. It looks like we're going to get lucky and they're going to settle out right here. Oh, please settle out right there. <sighs> Got him. All right, now for the worst part. That is getting down there to get him without killing myself. And then on top of that, there's also the fact that they're probably like gonna run in ways I don't want them to run. So, <gasps> we'll bring out the rhino, drop the scope off it, there we go. Just in case, because I heard of them buggers will run you through real quick. Oh, wow. Hi, what are you? Unfortunately, I think I've gotten myself stuck. <laughs> trying to find a way down without... No. It's not the kind of terrain you want to get in a fight with a, a goat. Um, nope. Nope. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm not dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Let's switch to the thing. Keep walking, bud. 
You know what? There, that solves that problem. No vital organ hit. Oh, I purely spined him. Wait, he was a 119? Didn't he have a score of like 59? I didn't write his down because I didn't think... Hang on a second, now I'm really curious. Oh, there he is. Gotta get my photo. Okay. And he's a 153.10. His score estimate put him 76 to 114 with a 201 to 242. So weight's in, level's in, the score's off. How is that still an issue? They've had a new map come out since these, since these guys were originally broken. And I can't imagine it's the mod because there is no mod currently. I have it uninstalled. I have the game reverted back to an older state. There's been no updates to the game since that state was backed up. Oh boy. And this is a fresh population because you're, you witnessed the first time that these were the first animals I've seen and I cleared the population for it. So, huh. Well, I guess in that regard, then let me go ahead and put the mod back on and let's see if we can't find a, a biggin. Because it'd be nice if I could say C to the other side of the waterway there. All right, so now I have the range extender re-enabled. Go prop back up in my original spot where I'll have a pretty good viewing distance. And, uh, well, might as well turn off my phone since spotting apparently is pointless anyways. That's interesting though. That is very interesting. So there, I guess, is a question. Is that a game-breaking bug? Well, if you solely rely on your spotting stats as to whether or not you want to take an animal, yes. Then, if, But if you don't, and you just rely on what you see as far as, you know, what that animal looks like, then no. Wow, that was a hell of a hiccup. That's the only downside. I do get some shutters here and there, because, of course, it's got to render animals in further away. Oh, my lord. I hate walking the cliffside over here. Oh no, a dirt clump. I don't know how to step up six inches. You know, sniping from up on those uh, lookout towers might actually prove fruitful. I might try that next. Not not today. Uh, I, I probably want to put a tripod up there or something. I've seen people do it, but it never really seemed useful with, you know, you're only looking three, four hundred yards. I am going to say, though, the, the range extension mod, I do get these weird frame stutters. But I'm not getting anywhere near the performance hit I was the first time I used it. And I'm wondering now if it wasn't so much the mod as it was the graphics driver. Because the driver install... Hey. Happened right before I started running the, the extension mod. And it was right after recording that video that I started to notice the issues. Half my screen going black. G-Sync not working anymore. The GPU randomly deciding that it could only do use 100 watts when normally it sits around 360. All right, let's see what we got down here. Oh, a little female. Some more females. A whole heap and herd of females. A whole heap and herd of everything right there. So far, nothing really standing out saying, I'm a biggin. Eh, uh, maybe that one. Oh my god. I just realized how many are over here. I had to check out of curiosity. That's one of them. So a 71 to 107, 201 to 242 for easy. So... There's more moving in. Alright, um... There's a 3 with the same score rating. Wait. Oh, there's a whole bunch down there. Look at that one. That's a 109. There are more animals. Right? There are a ton more animals. Why am I... Maybe I shouldn't be running this mod. There's another 3Z109. Okay. So maybe the scoring mishap is part of the, the game, but I'm starting to see another issue here of... There are too many Ibex. I'm not sure I've ever seen them. Like, it's a field of them. There's a 3109. Ooh, there's a 110. He's the closest. See, and unfortunately, I kind of have to have spotting information because from here... I guess I don't like... I could, I can tell that the one there, that's bigger than that one. I kind of want that one. And this is going to be great. Just what? Excuse me. Did you say something? <sighs> Was that not close?
That one was a hit. Okay. Jesus. All right, maybe I should just, uh... Oh, hey. I've lost all my sound. Hmm. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kick on everything. I'm going to find that one damned animal. And then I will revert the game back and delete my population again. Because, yep. Now this, this bug here I know is part of the mod issue. That's, uh... That was ex I read about that one. But some of the issue I actually had when testing this yesterday was that the animal would dis a frickin' peer. Like, I'm gonna go down to where I originally saw him and look for the blood spatter and try and follow his trail. But I have no sound. Oh, there's blood. All right, good, I did hit him the first time. That's not good. This guy went this way, then who did I shoot running up the hill? <gasps> this is getting dangerous. Don't do it. Oh, Jesus. Got one. 133. Wow. I missed. Huh. Of course. Zero to 25 over here. But then this trail's going the other way. Are you kidding me? Hang on a second. A goat pooped in my tent. That's a bad day. All right, I have been all over this hillside and the tracks stop back there by the water, but I am 99.9% .9 certain I saw him run up this way and this is where I took the shot. But he just... Wait. Is that showing that the last time I spotted the animal, it was over there? What? It's... It might be all kinds of broken. Alright, so... It's gonna take a minute, but I'm gonna go ahead and take the mod back out. And see how that affects things. I'm also getting some frame stuttery issues. Presumably as I'm running around and, you know, trying to render in that, you know, just gob of Ibex. But I haven't the foggiest idea where the one went that, uh... That big one went. There are no tracks for him beyond that little loop around at the shore. Okay, and so back again. No extended range mod and a fresh population. I'm just going to hang out over here for a minute and see what pops in. Already see the there's a huge performance difference, which is strange because I looked at my hardware and the hardware doesn't really tell why there's a performance issue. I'm actually very curious as to what's what's going on. Maybe it's looping things to make them appear further i don't know see if any biggins move in i'll just see what happens might actually be too late in the day now it's been halfway through the day hey look 4 easy 104 right off the bat it was actually interesting i wasn't seeing any animals so i decided to reset the time back to where it was when we saw that big herd and then i ran all the way over here and i didn't see anything and then of course thought was like stop moving around and wait population has to build and these guys literally just kind of sprouted in. But there's a max weight 104. 108. There's a 118. That 118's looking for the best bet right now. There's a 111. Okay, there's still more coming in. Holy heck. I guess I'm just going to sit and wait and let them all settle out, but... I, I don't think it's as many as last time. I mean, you got a group. You got some right there. Got some over here. Some over here some over here but definitely not as many as oh wait i may be speaking way too soon there's a 107 oh there's still more coming so right now what i'm having the issue with is uh the pleather that corsair has put around the ear cups on my headset rub against the frame the ear pieces of my glasses and sound almost exactly like Ibex feet on rocks. That that little kind of clip-clop trickling sound that they make when they're on the rocks up here. Oh, there's a 105. Oh, there's another group coming in. So every time I adjust my glasses or something, I think I hear freaking Ibex right next to me. 
Oh, there are more coming in. So far, it does still look like that 118's the biggest. Who's there? Where is he going? They're fleeing. Why are they fleeing? No, 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 no. What are they fleeing from? They're not fleeing from me. But, but those guys aren't fleeing. Oh. We got some Iberian wolves. Just trotting down the road. Look at that. Look at that. Hang on. Let me turn the... There. Oh, there they go. They're spooking. Okay. So, even without the mod. Holy besieged Ibex, Batman. Will you guys go already? You're screwing things up. I mean, I've already lost track of the one I wanted. There's another group. Like, just... that. This is an endless sea of Ibex. Alright, so now I gotta start trying to pick through them again and figure out where the one... Because I know he ran to the left, but... Where did he go? Wait. Oh, that's a 108. Does that mean your 118 buddy's down there somewhere? Right below me. Well, this might have worked out conveniently. Very conveniently. Wait, what? It's not just me, right? He he didn't... He twitched. Oh my god, look at all the... What is going on over here? Did the wolves come back? Look at the buggers scattering. I mean, you could have a field day here. There are so many Ibex. I'm not gonna lie. I might come back in my own time and just slaughter for money. I know that sounds horrible, but in this game, it's unfortunately something you, you do have to do. Meanwhile, let's see if I can't do this whole get down the mountain without dying thing. Should I go down here? Uh, probably not. Let's go over a bit more. Can I get back up? This guy just jumped up a three-foot boulder, but he can't walk over a six-inch pebble. What the heck? He's right down here, right? Yep. Oh my god, they're all coming back already. So many Ibex. Don't, don't, don't. Ooh, boy. Yep, that was a good vital hit. Hmm. That might actually look kind of cool. And he was a 15770. My 118 was a 15770. Well, at least almost 1,200 cash, and that went through the shred everything. Lung, liver, stomach. Perfect. So, I think in conclusion, after all that wonderfulness, I am not going to run the range extender mod. It does seem to have some issues uh, affecting the performance. I don't think it's affecting the scoring of the animals or their population like I thought I would. The main issue I have is that the sound occasionally cuts out, like how the foot sounds and jump sounds cut out last time. Uh, but then again, now that I think about it, I had my jump sounds cut out on the monster moose hunt. So maybe that has nothing to do with this mod. But the game does not like handling the long range render, having all the animals spawn in. I mean, like right now, pretty smooth frame rate. Everything runs fine. If I run really far, it'll hiccup probably because of how many of these guys are in the area. But when I have the mod enabled, uh, it just, it stutters a lot. And it, it gets kind of, uh, annoying. So, yeah, as cool as it is. But then I'm also tempted to take those long-range shots, and I think that's going to be a problem in the long run. What are you tentative to, bud? I didn't do nothing. So, I don't know. It's a cool idea, and it would be interesting if Expansive Worlds would ever include the ability to adjust your, uh, render range and game individual scene complexity. But for the time being, I think I'll just... Leave it off and stick with just the HUD switch mod. Wow, is drink time already up again? For some of them? Directly below me. I... <laughs> I kept hearing the footsteps, but he was he was underneath the rock to me, and I'm like, I can't see over there. What's making all the noise? Oh, no, 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 don't bob over here. Bob over here. I can't get to you over there. Bob over this way. <gasps> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Let's heal before we jump anymore. Can, no, no, no. Where are you bobbing? Don't bob over there. I can't get to you over there. Bob over here. Bob. Bob. Seriously, please tell me it'll come over here. Oh, thank God. Wait, so if I just keep running around, will you just keep following me? Hmm. 
What? Where are you going? I'm over here. Don't be scared. Okay, I'll put the gun away. I'll put the gun away. The gun's away. Kid. Where are you going? Come back. There you go. Come on, boy. Come on. That's a good... There you go. Roll over. Play dead. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Come on. You can do it. There you go. Where are you going? What are you doing? Why are you going back? What the hell's going on? <laughs> I, if there's enough ragdoll physics for them to figure out how to bob around in the water, can we have a trophy shot thing now? Oh, hey, you came back. Oh, he's already leaving again. Will you... I'm going to actually have to time this because I don't think I can get over there. Can, can you please come back now? Please come back. I didn't mean it. Don't shake in fear. It's okay. Come on, buddy. There you go. Come on, man. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. No, 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 no. Why would you... Ah! <laughs> this is so infuriating. All right, if I stand over here, will you bob over here? I'm not gonna lie, I've probably cut this down to be, you know, like, short. But it, it's been about six minutes of me trying to get him to bob this way. Like, the first two times, I shouldn't have joked around with it. You bob over here? Can you bob over here? Come on. Over here. Don't don't stop there. Come on. He's gonna stop there. Son of a biscuit, I thought he would... He's staying put. He's staying put. Get to him before he bobs away. Get to him before he bobs away. <laughs> Run. No. No. <laughs> Eat back here, you bastard. I... I... I, <laughs> I legitimately can't... God. <laughs> Stop running away from me! I've already killed you once. What's the worst that could happen? No, oh, damn it! Yeah, got him. He's all right. Well, that 108 came out of 145.10. What, what's with the angle here? Did I do that? I don't understand what's happening here. Why are you sideways? Okay. Well, and again, that shredded everything, and that's an easy 1,200 cash. There he goes. He's out of the water. Now that he's stranded me on the shoreline. <laughs> that's... That's gonna do it for this one. So, if there are buttons, if you... There, there are. <clears throat> so, there are buttons if you liked it. Buttons if you didn't. And as always, buttons to push. Until next time. Of course, now it rains.